The OSEED scholarship program saw over 18,000 Papua New Guineans receiving the award for the last 10 years. Minister for Public Service and Member for ABAO, Se Pukatemu, challenges the 140 awardees to build good leadership and share their skills and knowledge in building our nation. And so this will party revenue by coming Because of how long leadership we make sure that the revenues benefit the entire nation. Se Pukatemu also highlighted human resource development and institutional strengthening as top pillars of this in 2050. Guest speaker Stuart Chafer, the OSAID's Minister for Development Cooperation, encourages men to be part of the solution to address not just violence but also the rights of women generally as the world is on a journey to promote gender equality. Australia recognises that responsible and accountable leadership by decision makers at all levels of society in Papua New Guinea is critical to effective development outcomes. As Australian awardees, you have the opportunity to become leaders on return to Papua New Guinea and contribute to development the program is not only focused in awarding able human beings, however, four of the awardees are people living with disability. Here is Benjamin Pangio expressing his feeling. If they are selecting us for us to study in Australia, uh, that, you know, making us to show into the other disabled person that we can do it, compete with the uh, able person, contribute to the nation. Some awardees also express their gratitude. And it has always been my dream to do my master's abroad and not in Papua New Guinea. Uh, I believe each and every one of us are professionals in our own right, and that uh, the studies we are taking up is uh, an additional uh, tool to build the technical skills, the leadership skills, the management skills, just like what. Uh, Dr. Pukatemo was highlighting. Fasinata Yama, National MTV News.